And there's an interesting aspect of just because it's open waste or open source doesn't mean it can't be subverted, right? There have been many open source software bugs that have been like, uh, you know, for example, there was a Linux bug that was found after like 10 years, which was clearly a backdoor uh, because somebody was like, why is this taking, uh, you know, half a second this is to the load? the recent one. <laughs> right? Like, there's, why is this taking half a second to load? And it was like, oh, crap, there's a backdoor here. That's why. Right. And it's like, this is very much possible with AI models. Right. Um, today, you know, the the alignment of these models is very clear. Right. Like, I'm not going to say, you know, bad words. I'm not going to teach you how to make anthrax. I'm not going to talk about Tiananmen Square. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, you know, things like I'm going to say Taiwan is part of, you know, is is just an eastern province. Right. Like, right. you know, all these things are like depending on who you are, what you align, what, you know, whether, you know, and even like XAI is aligned a certain way, right? You know, they're, they might be, it's not aligned in the like woke sense. It's not aligned in the like pro-China sense, but there is certain things that are imbued within the model. Now, when you release this publicly in an instruct model that's open weights, this can then proliferate, right? But as these systems get more and more capable, what you can embed deep down in the model is not as clear, right? Um, and so there are, as, that is like one of the big fears is like, if a an American model or a Chinese model is the top model, right, you're going to embed things that are unclear. And it can be unintentional too, right? Like British English is dead because American LLMs won, right? And the internet is American and therefore like color is spelled the way Americans spell it, right? And this a lot is just of strong words right now. <laughs> this is just like this is just the factual nature of yeah, the LLMs. Uh, the, the now. The I right mean, it's like carbon to teach me that English is the hottest programming language, yeah. and that English is defined by a bunch of companies that primarily are in San Francisco. The, like. right, the right way to spell optimization is with a Z. Just in case people are listening, because <laughs> it's an—I think it's an S in British English. It is. I have but, but, you know, put taking S's. it as something silly, right? Like something as silly as the spelling, like which British and English, you know, Brit Brits and, and and Americans will like laugh about, probably, right? I don't think we care that much. Uh, but like, you know, some people will. But like, <laughs> this can this can boil down into like very, very important topics, like hey, you know, sub you know, subverting people, right? Uh, you know, chatbots, right? Character AI has shown that they can like you know talk to kids and ki or, or adults and like it will like you people will feel a certain way right and that's unintentional alignment but like what happens when there's an intentional alignment deep down on the open source standard it's a backdoor today for like Linux right that we discover or some encryption system right China uses different encryption than NIST defines the US NIST because there's clearly uh, at least they think there's backdoors in it right um, what happens when the models are backdoors not just to computer systems but to our minds yeah they're cultural right. black doors I, the thing that amplifies the relevance of culture with language models is that we are used to this mode of interacting with people in back and forth conversation and we have now have a super a very powerful computer system that slots into a social context that we're used to which makes people very we don't know the extent that which people can be impacted by that. So there, there could be. This is one. This is an actual concern with a Chinese company that is providing open weights models. Is that there could be some secret Chinese government sort of requirement for these models to have a certain kind of backdoor, to have some kind of thing. Where I don't necessarily think it'll be a backdoor, right? Because once it's open weights, it doesn't like phone home. It's more about like if it recognizes a certain system, it could like if if now now it could be a backdoor in the sense of like hey if you're building a software uh you know something in software all of a sudden it's a software agent oh program this backdoor that only we know about or it could be like subvert the mind to think that like X Y Z opinion is the correct one. Anthropic has research on this where they show that if you put different phrases certain phrases in at pre training you can then elicit different behavior when you're actually using the model because they've like poisoned the pre-training data. Mm -hmm. I don't think like, as of now, I don't think anybody in a production system is trying to do anything like this. I think it's mostly Anthropic is doing very direct work and mostly just subtle things. Of, we don't know what these models are going to, how they are going to generate tokens, what information they're going to represent and what the complex representations they have are. Well, one of the, we're, we're talking about Anthropic, which is generally just is permeated with like good humans trying to do good in the world. I, I don't, we just don't know of any labs, this would be done in a military context that are explicitly trained to, okay, how can we, uh, the, the front door looks like a happy LLM, but underneath 
It's a thing that will over time do the maximum amount of d- damage to our quote unquote enemies. There, there's this very good quote from Sam Altman who, you know, he can be hype beast sometime, but one of the things he said, and, and I think I agree, is that superhuman persuasion will happen before superhuman intelligence, yeah. right? And if that's the case, then these things before, before we get this AGI ASI stuff, we can embed superhuman persuasion towards our ideal or whatever the ideal of the model maker is. Right. And again, like today, I truly don't believe DeepSeek has done this. Right. Like, but it is a sign of like what could happen. So one of the dystopian worlds is uh, described by Brave New World. So we could just be stuck scrolling Instagram, looking at cute puppies or, or worse, and then talking to bots that are giving us a narrative and we completely get lost in that world that's controlled by somebody else but versus thinking independently. And that's, that's, a, that's a major concern as we b- rely more and more on these kinds of systems. I mean, we've already seen this with recommendation systems. Yeah, recommendation <laughs> systems hack the, the dopamine-induced reward circuit, but the brain is a lot more complicated and what other sort of circuits, quote-unquote, feedback loops in your brain can you hack slash uh, subvert in ways like recommendation systems are purely just trying to do, you know, increase time and ads and et cetera. But there's so many more goals that can be achieved through these complicated models. There's no reason in some number of years that you can't train a language model to maximize time spent on a chat app. Like right now they are trained. I mean, is that not what character AI has done? Their time per session is like two hours. Yeah, character AI very likely could be optimizing this where it's like the the way that this data is collected is naive where it's like you're presented a few options and you choose them, but there's that's not the only way that these models are going to be trained. It's naive stuff like talk to an anime girl, but like it can be like, yeah, this is a risk, right? Like It's it's a bit of a cliche thing to say, but I've uh, over the past year had a few stretches of time where I didn't use social media or the internet at all and just read books and was out in nature. And it like, it clearly has a diff- an effect on the mind where like it changed, like, I feel like I'm returning, of course I was uh, raised before the internet really took off, but I'm returning to some more. I know where you're going. I mean, you can see it physiologically. Like I take three days if I'm like backpacking or something and you your your literal bre- like you're breaking down addiction cycles. <laughs> I feel like I'm more in control of my mind. There feels like a sovereignty of intelligence that's happening when I'm disconnected from the internet. I think um the more I use the the internet and social media, the more other people are controlling my mind. That's definitely a feeling. And then th- in the future, that will be not other people but algorithms or other people presented to me v- via algorithms. There, I mean, there are already tons of. AI bots on the internet. And every so, right now it's not frequent, but every so often I have replied to one and they're instantly replies and I'm like, crap, that was a bot. And that is just going to become more common. Like, they're going to get good. One of the hilarious things about technology over its history is that the uh, illicit adult entertainment industry has always adopted technologies first, <laughs> yeah. right? Whether it was like video streaming yeah. um, to like where, you know, the there's now the like sort of like independent adult illicit content creators uh, who have their, you know, subscription pages. And there they actually heavily utilize, uh, you know, generative AI has already been like diffusion models and all that is huge there. But now these like these, these subscription based individual creators do use bots to approximate themselves and chat with their, you know, whales. People pay a lot for it. And people yeah. pay a lot, right? It's a lot of times it's them, but a lot of, there are agencies that do this for these creators and do it like, on a like mass scale. So the largest creators are like able to talk to hundreds or thousands of like people at a time because of these bots. And so it's it's already being used there. Obviously, you know, like video streaming and and other technologies have gone there first. It's going to come to the rest of society too.